What up, y'all? It's your boy Flacco. <clears throat> We're gonna give it a few seconds before I go ahead and introduce tonight's beer. But if you've seen the um, the uh, little preview up there, then you already know what it is. And uh, it's gonna be a good one. And you know what? Uh, let me see if I can, because I'm trying to pull up the comments on here too. Let's see my channel. Hold on. Bam, there we go. So I can see the comments too, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta have it viewed up. All right, so tonight's beer, man, uh, was, you know, I wasn't gonna get it tonight, but um, one of my good friends, David, he, uh, he, uh, no, what's up, brother? What's up, what's up? So one of my good friends, David, today, David Grog, he uh, was telling me all week about these beers, this one beer in particular, Chimay. And he was telling me how good it is, how great it is for a while, right? And so he actually came up to me today and asked me, have I tried it yet? And I told him no. I was like, I got to fix my car and, you know, everything else that's going on. You know, uh, I haven't had no extra bread to buy that. And it's an expensive beer. It's, it's a high quality beer, right? So he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out 20 bucks and he says, here, go buy the beer. And I'm like, what? You know, in my head, I'm just like, I can't do that. But then, you know, it's, he's like, go, go for it. Go buy the beer. And uh, he's like, you might have to throw another five in because you're probably going to buy another one. So we went ahead and bought the beer, right? Went ahead and bought the beer and I'm excited and I'm ready to try this thing out, man. So this is the Chimay, and uh, this is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bottle here. Zaden, no. Look at this. It's got a wine cork in it. It is an authentic Trappist beer, or Trappist beer. And what that means is it is brewed by monks in a, tap in a tapist, Trappist monastery. Okay, little history on the on this beer, man. I did a little history, did a little look up on this because you know I didn't want to come in this not knowing what I was getting myself into. Um, well, let's just give you the basics right now, man. So it is a nine percent alcohol by volume. It is a dark style ale. It is called Grand Reserve Ale, right? All right, so these uh. So this originally started, I think uh, they first made their first batch in 1942 um, in the uh, Tapist Monastery. You know, they made their first batch. It was supposed to be a Christmas uh, beer, you know, when they when they first started making it. But David Grog, see, there's David right there, man. He is the one who uh, this beer is brought to you guys by today. David, I did find it. I did find it. Yeah. So I did do a little research on it, and I did find out that it was uh, first brewed in 1942 by the tra Trappist monks in the monastery. Now they did that in preparation for their new uh, for their new uh, monastery that they were going to make in 1952. They just so happened to like this beer so much that it kind of stuck around, right? And so they brew this. Hey, Carol. So they brew this beer. Um, Year round now, right? They brew it year round now. It's one of their best sellers. It's one of their more uh, more fine beers, from what I read. And all the charities that go from this book, I mean, from this brew, actually go back into the monastery to help out the community and help out everybody else. And all the monks who made this, you know, they're part of that community. So that it all goes back in. And this is an authentic Trappist beer, so made in the actual walls of the monastery, which is pretty, pretty, pretty cool, man. So, thanks to David, we are going to be trying this out tonight, guys. And it is a 9% alcohol by volume, so I don't know if we're going to finish the whole thing. I might sip a little bit, and I do have my bottle saver right here, but uh, David said that, you know, I might want to finish it. Um, so, that was just a little background history on it, so I said it was started as a Christmas beer, you know what I mean? But they just liked it so much. But the back of the bottle says, the registered trademark Trappist certifies that this ale was brewed within the walls of an existing Trappist monastery under the control of a Trappist community. See what I'm saying? They make it, it's all within the community. 
It says major parts of the sales and revenue uh, used by the monks to support uh, their charitable works. It says the exceptional yeast isolated by Father Theodore, I guess that's the uh, main monk guy who's responsible for the yeast, combined with the purity of the highly protected water of Abbey's Well, so that's where they get their water from, Abbey's Well, gives the Chimay its unique richness. Since 1862, Chimay's secondary fermentation, uh, fermentation ales have neither been pasteurized nor filtered. So this is unpasteurized and unfiltered. That's the way I like my beers, guys. Not messed with. Straight out of the dang uh, fermentation, fermentation tank, filtered into another bottle. No process, no running through, no nothing. It's just straight is what it is. It says, uh, da -da -da -da. only natural ingredients are used uh, to fully accept the robust characters of the Chimay Grand Reserve. See the vintage on the cock. So on the cork, so there's a vintage date on this cork. I'll have to check out and see when it is. This one is 2017, but I don't see the exact date on it. The other David is up in here. David, how's it going, my man? I'm doing fine tonight. This beer is what we're going to be trying here. It is the Grand Reserve Ale. It says, serve slightly chilled in a wide mouth glass. Okay, so... I got a wide mouth glass, wide mouth chalice. Let's go ahead and, because I've been excited to try this one, so we're going to go ahead and just do it. I'm going to unscrew this thing in hopes that it doesn't pop off here. Okay, so far so good. That's a nice, that's a nice little cap there. You know, we might buy another one of these, just age it. Thank you. Perfect glass. All right. So, he says... My, his, my choice of glass is the perfect one for it. So let's go ahead and pop a top and hope we don't break anything in the house. Woohoo! That fired off, boy. And look at the smoke coming out of there. Woo! We're in for it, guys. So already I can smell the... Uh, I can smell caramels coming out of it. You know, and that's, I haven't even poured it up yet. I can smell the caramels and the sweetness coming off of this, all right? So let's go ahead and pour it up so you guys can see and take a look at what this here looks like. We got four people in here with us so far. Go ahead and smash that like button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So we're pouring it at a slight angle here, trying to get, create a little bit of a head. I think we created a little bit too much of one, but it still looks beautiful, right? So this is a dark, strong L, all right? Check this out, guys. I'm gonna get this light here so you can see what I see. There's a little slight reddish hue on the bottom of this. All right, can you see it? Uh, hold on. Uh, maybe you can't. There we go, see that? See that reddish hue on there? Man, that's what I'm talking about right there. I appreciate you guys are smashing that like button for me. Let's go ahead and get a nose on it and see what we got here. So right off the rip, man, off the nose, you get a slight caramel. You get a big fruitiness, like uh, like berries almost, sangria y. But just very fresh, very fresh. Um, you don't smell any alcohol, which is a good thing for a nine percent coming in there. I don't smell any alcohol. Just real crisp and real fine. Real crisp and real fine. That's all I can say about this. It's got a nice little slightly tan head on there. Uh, nice little tight bubbles on there. Not too loose. There's no big bit bubbles, but there's plenty of carbonation coming to the top. You can tell. You can see on the side of the glass. You guys can't see it that well, but I can. There's little tiny carbonation bubbles going all the way around this thing. So this is pretty pretty highly carbonated, I would, I would imagine. And it just smells delicious. It smells phenomenal let's go ahead and uh go right in right which, which we should just go right in let's just go for it oh, okay wow wow dude so on this one i gotta do it i gotta do another wick
Well, on this one, okay, there's a, there's a yeastiness about it, a little breadiness. There's definitely a fruitiness. There's no no alcohol taste on the palate, um, but it does warm you. It does warm you when you get when it gets to the back of the throat here. It does have a slight warmness to it. Um, there's nice ferment fermentated fruits that you can taste in there. I'm picking up some. Uh, I'm picking up some plum. Ever so slight caramel, but mostly fruits. This is dangerous, folks. This is dangerous because it tastes so freaking good and it has such a high alcohol content that if you weren't careful with this, you can easily down two of these bottles by yourself. I mean, remember how I said I wasn't going to drink the whole thing? Now I don't know. Now I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm going to put a cork in it for now because I don't know. But, I mean, it is, it is freaking amazing. Cheers to David Grog, guys. If you see him in the comments, y'all let him know. Thank you for this here. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing beer. Now I know why you raved about it so much, man. This is, um, it's, it's high class, bro. It's high class, man. Thank you so much, David. The Pearson Experience, what's the deal, my friend? How are you doing? We are enjoying this fine, fine, fine glass of dark ale. Um of Chimay, the Grand Reserve Ale. See that? Bam. Beautiful, beautiful big bottle here. Um, I almost missed it, guys. Delia's Guppies, how are you doing? How are you doing? We are enjoying a dark ale here. Um, my good friend David Grog actually wanted me to try this beer so much and do a review on it that he actually paid for it, right? He gave me $20 out of his pocket and said, try this beer. And now if somebody's willing to pay for a beer for you, it must be fucking good. I mean, excuse my language. It must be really, really, really good, right? So, and it is. It's fantastic. It is fantastic. Pharma, appreciate you joining with us, my friend. Again, guys, smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. Um, I did, I, I did uh, on a side note here tonight, let me see if I can. Check that out. Paste. There we go. There is the link pasted right there. The new merchandise is out. Okay. If you want to go get you some official Flacco's beer review merchandise, that link that I just posted there is where you get it. They have we have multicolored t-shirts, all different shirt t-shirts. We got mugs, we got socks, right? We got girl shirts. I don't know how to mess with the pricing too much yet, so please, you know, I mean I did what I could, you know what I mean? Cheers to David Grog for this opportunity to taste the Chimay. It is an amazing, amazing, special, high-class beer, my friends. High-class beer. Not a cheaply made beer. This is fantastic. You know what? Those monks in the monastery know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. So I'm glad they didn't just keep this as a Christmas beer, as the, uh, the little bio autobiography said about it. Carol here. Hey, Carol. Cheers to you too. Tell David cheers. Bumpy Road. Cheers. Thank you for joining us, my friend. We are nine deep in the chat right now. The likes are still going up. I do appreciate that, guys. So again, this beer was brought to you by my good friend, David Grog. Bam. And uh, you know, when somebody, when somebody pays for your beer and they tell you, you know, it's worth the try, they're not lying, dude. This is Fantastic. Fantastic. You got some you got some sweetness. You got some uh, some fruitiness. And you got the warmth of the alcohol, right? But you don't have the taste of the alcohol. There's no taste whatsoever of alcohol in here. You just get the warmth of it when it gets to the back of your throat. That is beautiful, man. That is beautiful. Normally, when you go with something that's a higher quality alcohol or has a higher volume alcohol, I should say, you do get that little booziness taste. Now, when you start going from 9% to the 13s and 14%, you get that little booziness taste. But this, my friends, is nothing like that. This is the creme de la creme of beers right here, dude. It is fan-freaking-tastic. Marty, thank you for joining us, my friend. 
We are sipping on a very special beer tonight, a dark ale, the Grand Reserve Chomay. Now, I don't want to tell you, well, I'll tell you how much this bottle cost me, guys. So this bottle here, just this one bottle, was 18 something, 18 and some change, man, at, at, the, uh, at, the, at the beer store, right? And you know what? Normally, myself, I would pass up on something so high a price, but damn it if, if, I, if I was wrong, you know what I'm saying? We are 11 strong here in the chat, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, I was wrong, man. I have seen this every now and then, and you know, there's, there's two other kinds. There's a red one, and now that I've tried this, this, uh, this one here, Mrs. Craft Beer Pours, cheers. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Um, now that I've tried this one here, man, there is no going back. I'm gonna have to grab the other two. I'm gonna have to grab the other two and just to try them because this is bomb. Okay, Bumpy, so you know what I'm talking about. See, I've never had this beer before. I've never had this beer before and my good friend David Grog, you know, he loved it so much he wanted me to try, try it so he got it for me or he paid for it for me. I went out and got it. He raved about it. And you know, honestly, I didn't know if it was going to be all that great because you know, sometimes I get disappointed with those high, high, um, high dollar beers. I know I got disappointed when it came to, um, when it came to, uh, the dogfish had 120 minute IPA. Now one 12 ounce bottle of that is $13, right? And that was a big disappointment and that was boozy. It was real boozy. It tastes like hobo juice, right? So when you see these 9%, it kind of fins, it kind of, you know, you kind of go away from it. I look clear, no lagging tonight. Okay, that's because I switched to another phone. Come to find out, it was not the internet reception. It was my old phone. So we got another phone, and uh, we're rocking. You know, we're rocking good tonight. So cheers is what we're sipping on. Chimay Grand Reserve Ale. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dark ale on this. Um, made by Tappist, uh, Trappist Monks. You know what I mean? Now you want one person experience, and now you know what? I say go get it. Go get it because it is worth it. It is a damn fine beer, damn fine beer. You know what, this would go even better with a cigar, but I do not smoke in the house, and I will not smoke in the house, so. Cheers to David, cheers to everybody joining us tonight. I appreciate all of you guys stopping in and saying what's up. Rob93, what's the damn deal, my friend? How are you? We're sipping on this nice dark L here. And I tell you what, man, those monks know what they're doing. They're not just in there praying all the time and, and, you know, getting spiritual. They're in there brewing beer, and they're doing a damn good job. I mean, for something to be this sweet and, and, and this creamy, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, my God. And you know what? The glass is half empty, but I say it's half full, right? Let's go ahead and fill her up. Fill up the tank on it and give us another head right there. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Trish, for dropping the dropping the link. So she dropped the link to my t-shirts. Shirt ordered. Farm off. Thank you, my friend, for purchasing a Flacco's Beer Review shirt, showing your support for the channel, man. That is awesome. I do appreciate it. Yeah, guys, go check out the link that Trish just dropped to get the merch. Huh? It's right there, baby. Yeah, man. Have you ever had anything from the, what is that, what'd you say? From the All Gosh uh, Brewery? No, I haven't had anything from the All Gosh Brewery. Um, are they high-end beers, man? Are they, are they on this level too, you know what I mean? If they are, I'm gonna have to give it a try because now I'm not gonna be scared of that high dollar. That high dollar means fine quality now that I know. Now that I know the high dollar means fine quality, I'm gonna spend a little bit to get a lot, you know what I'm saying? This is well, well, well worth it. Beautifully made, beautifully crafted. Those monks know what they're doing and I am warm, dude. I am warm. Like my chest is warm, my body's warm. I almost wanna take off the shirt. Are you a farmer selfie on Twitter? Do you, what is your, how did your print, Everyone is, was good except hubbies. Oh, uh, I guess uh, you had some problems with the shirts, Trish. I hope not. Um, word up, Rob. All right, man. 
Well, I just I appreciate you, man, uh, for purchasing the shirt, showing your support for Flacco, man. There are stickers and mugs and women's shirts available on there too. I'm gonna have to ask Trish so she can show me how to edit the pricing on that because I want to lower it a little bit. There is a code, guys. If you click the link, there is a promo code. Promo code is Flacco, capital letters, F L A C O. Bam, bam, bam. You'll get a little discount. You'll get a little discount, man. I'm not not afraid to say that. You'll get a discount. You know. It's nice, man. So right now we're just enjoying this one, and it is amazing. It is amazing, dude. I don't want Thank you, Trish, again. Trish is one of my moderators and a good friend. Her and her husband run the CBP channel. Uh, if y'all haven't checked them out, I know which probably everybody in here has checked them out. Uh, please go check them out, man. Good people, good fun. Always a good time with those guys. Always a good time. I appreciate you guys stopping in and sharing this with me. We're going to go ahead and top off this bottle because that's how damn good it is. David, you were not lying, my friend. You were not lying when you said I would want to get two of these. I'm glad I did. But the other one I'm going to save in the refrigerator and we're going to leave it at that because I do not want to drink both of them. You know, I don't want to drink both of them because it is that good, man. It is that good. I'm a crap. I'm going to, I'm a stout and uh and porter lover and this dark ale here is like right there it's right there man there's not too high of a roasty note to it it's like almost i don't even know man it's it's just it's just beautiful it's beautiful tears come to my eyes when i think about this so since this is the last of the big batch i'm gonna go ahead and savor the flavor on this one i'm not gonna rush it i'm not gonna rush it I had two glasses slow, then slammed them back just because I had about two glasses left this morning when I looked. <laughs> so Trish is on a level right now. That is good. That is good, man. I hope all of you guys are sipping a good cold one with me too, man. You know, um, I would love to know what everybody's drinking tonight. Bumpy, what are you drinking tonight? Are you on a homebrew? Oh, that was last night, Trish. Okay, okay. But tonight, tonight we're on the Chimay. Brought to you again by my boy, okay. David Grog. Good night, Michael. Love you. So, an amazing, an amazing, an amazing beer. I am definitely going to have to try out the other two. There are two other ones made by these this specific tra Trappist um, monastery. Abyss de... What does that say? I'm not sure how to read that. It's a Belgian-style brewery out of Maine. Shoot me your address and I'll mail it to you. For sure, Bumpy. I will definitely shoot you my address. Is this... Look at this. Is that what, look at that. There's an A, B, B, A, Y, E, D, E. Uh, T, N, or I'm reading that backwards. S, C, O, U, R, M, O, N, T. So, so I'm not, I don't know. Whatever. But uh, it is freaking awesome, dude. It is freaking awesome. Never had one like this before, and even look at that. It tells you, do not tilt the glass, keep it, keep it upright, and drink out of the same glass that we're drinking out of, not a regular pint glass. We're winning, and we didn't even realize it. I had the, I had the beer stored upright in my refrigerator, because that's where I keep all my beers stored upright. And this one here is the perfect chalice for it. So, I mean, we're enjoying it the best way we can, you know, and, and it's amazing. It is amazing, dude. Cheers again. Now we're back up to eight. Everybody's smashing that like button. Oh, Jake is stopping in to say, what's up? What's up, Jake? I did get your message on the Instagram. So I'm going to start painting up something for your kids, man. I will definitely get on the works for that Goku painting. So y'all check that out or be on the lookout, man. It'll be coming your way soon enough. Tris has dropped a link to the, uh, to the merch page, so y'all go check out the merchandise and see if you guys want to get a shirt to support your boy Flacco. If y'all do, great. If you don't, cool. But if you do get one, please take a picture of it and send it to me. I want to post the pictures on my uh, on my next uh, my next video, right? My full official video. They want me to make one, so you'll get at me. Okay, for sure, bro, and I'll be happy to do that for you. Very good, very great beer. I am glad that we had the opportunity to try this because honestly guys, at 18 something a bottle of this, it scares a lot of, it scares people like me away, man. For those who are not in the know, right? 
If you're not in the know, you will not spend that much on a beer like this. If you're not in the know, you won't, right? You just won't. But uh, my boy David Grog put me in the know. He put me in the know, and now I know. And you can't unknow something you don't already know. You know what I'm saying? So now I know, and I'm going to keep going for this stuff right here, man. This is the shiznit, man. This makes you want to have a bottle of these. And it does say some people age the bottle for a little bit, too. So who knows? I might uh, grab a bottle and age it till somewhere time around this time of year. And crack it open and see what kind of what kind of changes it's went through. You know what I mean? What it's developed more. Right now, we're getting a lot of, uh, a lot of fermented fruits on it, a lot of plum on it, a little bit of caramel on it. Um, a lot of sweetness on it, not not very much bitter notes on it at all, uh, whatsoever. No alcohol on it whatsoever. A little heat, a little heat, a little spicy, like like a little. You can tell there's some spices in there, right? But it's not enough to to burn you. Uh, it warms you, but there's no booziness to it. And I know I might sound confusing because all those things don't make no damn sense. But I mean, I swear that's what it is, man. It's a nice, solid, fermented fruits. Nice plum, nice caramel that drifts slowly to the back of your palate, go down real smooth, and then it just finishes beautifully warm, warming your body like a warm hug. I mean, it is fantastic, fantastic. Now, my boy David does not drink anymore, but he said when he did drink, this is what he drank. And David being the man that he is, you know, uh, an artist, a man who tends to appreciate the finer things in life, like musics, arts, I can definitely see him appreciating this beer. And now I know why he appreciated this beer. This is a fine, fine beer, man. Normally, I just go to the store and I'll get some IPAs or something that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slam down. You know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. Whatever. But uh, Carol says Frankie is a good man. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. For those of you who don't know, David Grog and Carol are, uh, you know, Carol is a... Uh, the nurse that works at my job, awesome lady, very awesome lady. She, we go on, um, we go on vacations every year with her. So if you guys have checked out, if you guys saw the uh, peace out, Flacco got to run. All right, man. Thanks for stopping in, brother. I appreciate your time, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it's always a pleasure having you in here, man. Cheers to you, the Pearson Experience. Thank you for stopping by. But Carol, we always go on, uh, you know, trips together as a uh, as a job. You know what I mean? And um, it's always a good time, man. David is a chef indeed, my friend. We eat good when we're chilling with David. He makes good food. Him and Carol are in the kitchen. They beast it up every time. If you guys want to go back and watch um, my trip to Port Aransas this year and my trip to Port Aransas last year, man, there we're with them. David's in the videos, man. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go back out and look for that. This year we went out there. We caught some black tip shark. We ate those. Hit them over the grill. That was that was fantastic. And uh, now we're sitting back and we're appreciating a good beer. You know, we're appreciating a good beer. We're going on uh, 30 minutes in here. David Ennis says, good night. Good night, my friend. Cheers. I appreciate you stopping by. Always a pleasure to have you with us as well. Bumpy, so you have tried these chimes, huh? Have you tried the different varieties, the different types? Have you tried this one specifically? Headed to bed late night last night. I understand. I understand completely, Trish. And that's why, you know what, Farmall, good night too, my friend. I'm not going to be on here too much longer anyways. I just wanted to come and share this one with you guys. This is an amazing, amazing beer. I might have to do a re-review to make it an official Flacco beer review with the intro and the outro. You know, we might have to do that soon. Again, guys. You know, I appreciate all of you guys stopping by. We're now at the 30 minute mark. I'm gonna go ahead and uh... thank you, David. Thank you, my friend. You know, without you, this was, you know. <laughs> no, I'm staying, I was just saying goodnight to her. Okay, Farmhouse here. Without you, David, I would not know of this beer. And guys, I dropped the link to the Teesprings again for the merch. Y'all check it out if y'all want to, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate it if y'all did. Uh, our farm all just supported me, man. So, yeah, Garth, Garth Brooks is staying with me, man. You know what I'm saying? My boy Farm all staying with me, man. So, cheers to him for kicking it around here. You know what I mean? I'll be on here a little longer. I was going to kill it at the 30-minute mark, but I guess since we're rocking at nine people and nine likes, we'll keep it going. You know what? I'll sip the rest of this with you guys. 
And then after that, I'll probably head to bed myself or go lay down with the wifey. So it is what it is, man. It is. No, yeah, I made mine my own. You know, I, I, I went on there and I created my own, uh, my own merch today. So, I mean, I would have asked Trish for help, you know what I'm saying? Because she's an amazing, have you seen her merchandise? Dude. She's a freaking designer, man. You know what I'm saying? That she can get a part-time job designing freaking clothes. You know what I'm saying? And people would buy them because she has some great ideas. She has some great ideas, man. Great ideas. So, you know, y'all go check out hers. I, I, I bought my wife um, double words, but it made sense, though. It might have been a double word. You've had the red, the blue, and the white. Double, triple, and a quad. Thank you, David Ennis. I appreciate it. She appreciate it. So they have more than just three then? Is there like, or you were just saying the types that they are? Cause damn, I mean, are the other two just as good as this? Because they're, they're saying this is the stronger one. My degree is marketing, that's my thing. Well, it shows Trish, it shows man, you rock dude. You really do rock man. Um, because you know what, they said this is the stronger of the dark ales or the ales that they produce. This is the stronger one and uh, I mean, you can't get much better than this. So, I mean, do the other ones fall short of this one or are they all of their own greatness? You know what I'm saying? Do they all hold their own? Can they all stand their own? Because this one right now, this one's taking the cake right now, man. I haven't had the other two, but I mean, it's kind of hard for me to imagine that, you know. Okay, go to work on singing off thing. I need AA for YouTube. <laughs> yeah, man. My wife would tell you the same thing too. David says he's tried all of them. And did you like them all, David? Did, did they all stand tall on their own? Or would you say this one here? You say you like the blue. Okay, so that shows you. You've tried them all, but this grind reserve is the thing, right? It's the thing. So I'm excited, man. I might just have to go cop the other two. And then I'll just do another live view for each one of them. Not the same day, because we're not going to do all that, but... Uh, yeah, 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 you know, maybe if it's a weekend, I don't know, you know, we might, we might just turn up a little bit, but not nah, right now, I still have to go to work tomorrow, guys, so I can't turn up all the way, we are gonna enjoy this, you know, this is not, this is not one that you want to go and pound, you know what I'm saying, this is not a beer that you want to slam it down, no sir, if you do, you're a fool because you'd be missing the complexities and the beauty of this beer, now, I don't ramble and, and rant about any beer like this. You know what I'm saying? I never do. I never rant like this. I might say a few words of wadi wadi wadi, but this one takes the cake, folks. This is better than the IPAs that I've had, man. This is uh, this is up there, man. I've had some pretty fucking rocking IPAs and some pretty solid stouts and porters, man. This sits up there with them, man. This sits up there. It holds its own, man. Just tapped into a pumpkin ale clone, I think, in the week... It'll be perfecto. Ah, okay. So you're tapping into your clone beer right now. You're testing the waters on it, huh? Okay, okay. You know what? And I even saw some pumpkin, uh, some pumpkin stouts today uh, when I was uh, when I was shopping for this. I almost missed this, man. I was almost disappointed. I went into specs and I skimmed the whole fridge aisle. There was none in the fridge, and then I went to the side craft imported aisle. You like the red, so the red's your favorite. Okay, cool, cool. So I scammed the whole side aisle, and I swear I went down it twice. Did not see this. Did not see this, and I was about to give up. I was about to give up, and then I said, I'm just going to scan these beers one by one, no rushing, just looking, and sure enough, on the second shelf, right at the beginning of the aisle where I started, was this beautiful bottle here along with its the red and the the white or the other you know whatever the color but they were there they were both there i think the white was the least expensive this was the most expensive and the red was the second expensive but uh i was just happy that they had it you know and they had it and uh i got it you like triple triples and quads i love triples and quads man i love triples and quads bro i do I do. They're really easy, really going, good sippers, man. I think there was a. I think I did a quad not too long ago, right? The it was the Easy Rider quad or something. 
Uh, I think, man. It was by the it was by the real L Brewing Company, anyway, and it was magnificent. And that's a decent price bottle. It was like five ninety nine, six ninety nine, and it was delicious, man. It was delicious. It was right. It was so, it was a solid beer, bro. A solid beer, one to enjoy as well, man. Are they slammable? Yeah, they're slammable, but you wouldn't want to. Like I said, I could slam this probably, but I don't want to. I'm enjoying the taste of it. I'm enjoying the experience of it, right? There's a difference. There's a difference, my friends. There's slammable beer, and then there's enjoyable beer, but you can enjoy the slammable beer too. All beer you can enjoy, but there's some beer that you want to slow your roll and just ride the waves, man. And this is one that you want to ride the waves to. It's good. It's amazing. Enough of my ranting about this beer we all know. Let's give it a score. Let's give it a score. One to ten. It's getting a 10. It's getting a 10, bro. There's no way I can give it anything less than a 10. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is how, this is how amazing it is. I just want to... That's the commercial right there. That's the poster for it right here. Hold on. Show up to the party like... You know? That's it. That's the whole thing right there, bro. That's it. And I mean, you want to put your boys on something special. I mean, no wonder they started this as a Christmas beer because, you know, Christmas beers are special. They come around once a year and you get them when you can get them and you can't when you can't. And this one started off as a Christmas beer, ended up being enjoyed so much that they said, forget it. It's a year round thing. And now it produces revenue for them. And I don't see, you know, why not? It's great. It's good. It is bomb. So let's go ahead and take another swig of this. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I'm so glad to see the community is growing so much, man. Every time I get on a live stream now, we used to rock at two, three, one, you know, person watching at a time. Now we're up from like, we're never down below like four or nothing. It goes four to six to eight to 12 to 10, to 12, to 10, to 12, to 4, to 6. I mean, we rock now, you know what I'm saying? We're rocking like a dang boat now, you know what I'm saying? It is a nice thing. It is a nice thing, man. I appreciate all of you guys for checking me out, staying tuned with me, sipping beers with me when, when I do get on, you know what I'm saying? It is cool. And check out the merch too, guys. Show some support, show some love, go rock a Flacco shirt. If you do buy one, please hit me up on the Facebook and Instagram and send me a picture of you wearing the shirt. I would love to see that, man. I would love to see that. And if you do send me a picture of you wearing the shirt, I'll send you an original Flacco's Beer Review stickers. Now, on the website, you can get a Flacco's Beer Review sticker, but they're not the originals, guys. They're not the originals. They're uh, from the company. If you buy a shirt, I will send you free Flacco's Beer Review stickers. I'll get your address from you, and you'll get them in the mail. I'll send you four a piece for buying the shirt. That way you can stick around the clubs, stick around the bars for me, or you can just put them on your computer or wherever you, on your bar. Check this out. Look at that. See? See those Flacco's Beer Review stickers there? Got other stickers there. I just need more BrewTuber stickers, guys. I need more BrewTuber stickers, and, you know, for people to rock with. So, uh, who we got in the, in the mix still, man? We got Bumpy still in the mix. We got David still in the mix. Trish went to bed. David went to bed. Farmall still rocking with us, I guess. I know my wife is still rocking with us. So, you know what? We'll give, a, we'll give another minute. We'll give it one more minute. And then I'm going to end the stream early, guys. I'm going to end the stream early. And since I have half a glass of this fine, fine, fine dark ale, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go enjoy it in the man cave with a cigar under the peaceful, calm night sky, you know, and just relax, just relax. I'm gonna kick it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this, man. And then tomorrow, I'll post a video of a review I did, you know what I'm saying, y'all stay tuned for that. And then we might go, we might go live again tomorrow night. We might go live again tomorrow night and just, it's Friday night, so we'll see whatever rolls into the night, man. So again, guys, check out the, I'll drop it one more time, check out the, Teespring merchandise. There's the link right there. Bam. Check that out. Copper Flacco's Beer Review merch. Available in multicolors, male and female. 
Stickers available, mugs available, and socks available. You know what I'm saying? And if not, hit me up on the Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. Links are all at flatgoesbeerreview.com. I do appreciate all of you guys every single night for kicking in with me. Tonight was brought to you by David Grog, a good friend, the Chimay Grand Reserve Ale. Appreciate y'all once again, and I'm out.